Hello and welcome to King's Quest 4. This is the uh, copyright infringement protection that they have, so you have to normally look at the manual provided with the game, which I just have a picture of such, and hopefully I read it right. Good. say yes this is our first time playing King's Quest 4 the perils of Rosella this is just gonna be the uh, intro cinematic and I'm very excited because I am fairly certain this will be one of the last games that I will do, which I will actually have to do the bulk of the uh, voice recordings for, other than some of the um, Space Quest games, which I'll probably get to eventually, but um, everything after this has voice acting to my memory. We'll see if that ends up being true. With the return of his long-lost son, Alexander, and the rescue of his daughter, Rosella, from the terrible dragon, old King Graham decides it's time to pass on his adventurer's hat to younger blood. He flings the battered hat toward his children while his wife, Queen Valenice, proudly looks on. The hat arches through the air. Suddenly, King Graham experiences a terrible squeezing pain in his chest. Help me, he rasps. The adventurer's hat lies unclaimed upon the floor, forgotten. King Graham lies weakly in bed, Father Death hovering near. Grief suddenly overwhelming her, Rosella runs from the room. Oh, Father, she sobs, you're still young. You should have many years ahead of you. Oh, I wish I could help you, Father. Do you really mean that? A soft voice asks. Rosella looks up but sees no one. Who's speaking to me? I am, the voice says. Look in the magic mirror. Rosella sees an image in the mirror. Who are you? she queries. I am the fairy Janesta. In my land of Temir, there is a remarkable tree. This tiny tree needs 100 years to bear a single fruit. But this is no ordinary fruit, for if a person were to eat it, they would find that good health and well-being would be theirs for many years. Rosella is much heartened by this news. Where is this land of Temir? Janesta smiles. Tamir is very far away, but with my magic, I can bring you here. Rosella senses that there is more to the story. But I suppose there are some problems. Again, Janesta smiles. Yes, you are correct, Rosella. If you are willing to come to Tamir, I will explain the situation. However, once I bring you here, I can't send you back. 
You will have to help me first. Confused, Rosella says, I don't know. What if I can't help you or find the tree? Janesta pleads, You must decide now, Rosella. My powers are growing weaker by the minute. Now the fairy is but a faint glimmer and her voice barely audible. If you care for your father, say yes now. And suddenly she's gone. Yes, Rosella says. The lovely fairy speaks. I am the fairy Janesta. Welcome to Tamir. Rosella looks awestruck at the fairy. She is stunningly beautiful, but still there is a certain sadness to her. Finally, Rosella speaks. I know you would like me to help you in some way, but I don't know how I could help a fairy. Janessa looks sadder than ever. You're wrong, Rosella. You see, I'm losing my magical powers. Yesterday, as I was strolling through the woods, the lot, the evil fairy, captured me and stole my talisman. The fairy sighs. She yanked it from my neck and raced away, screeching with laughter. Immediately, I felt my powers diminishing and my body weakening. I will die in 24 hours if my talisman is not returned. Six hours in-game, but... Time scale's a little sped up. Intently, Janesta looks at Rosella. Lalat is very evil and will use the talisman to bring more evil to Tamir. Now I fear it will contaminate my whole country. Further, I cannot send you home without my talisman. Rosella is unsure as to what she can do. Meekly, she asks, I want to help you, but how? You can do more than you think, Rosella, Janesta assures her. I believe you will be able to penetrate Lalat's domain. Suddenly, Rosella remembers the tiny tree. Can you tell me where to find the magic fruit? Remorsefully, Janesta looks at Rosella. It will not be easy to reach the tree. It grows on a tiny island within a vast swamp on the other side of the great mountains. Bravely fighting back tears, Rosella says, I will help you in any way I can, Janesta. How can I find the lot? The beautiful fairy points eastward. Lalat's cave overlooks Tamir from the great mountains. Janesta looks weaker as she says, There is not much more I can do, Rosella. As it is, it will be difficult for me to fly home again. One thing I must do for you, though. I shall disguise you as a peasant girl so as not to draw attract attention. Thank you, Janesta. I think, Rosella stammers. It will be better for you, the fairy says. Well, I must be off while I can still fly. I know you can do it. Goodbye. Good luck. Well, you're on your own, Rosella. And so our adventure begins. All right, that will pretty much do it for today. Um, but we'll be back next time with the actual game and we will explore the perils of Rosella. See you next time, bye.